Hello everyone, my name is Telma. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, you're welcome. And I hope that before the end of the video, you consider subscribing. And to all my old and returning subscribers, I'm really thankful that you are subscribed to me and I'm so grateful for the support you know you've shown to me since I started YouTube. I'm really, really grateful and thankful that you all are watching me. Yeah, I'm so sorry that my voice sounds this way. After my mini vacation, you know, in the snow, I came down with a cold and it just made me realize that I don't like snow. I don't like snow. I actually prefer to be in a city where it doesn't snow because I mean, it's cold already, but the snow multiplies the cold. I don't know if that either if multiply means, but I mean, you understand what I mean. It just increases the cold yeah so i'll be sounding a bit i don't know my voice is not perfect but i really wanted to do this because i felt like you know it's still the beginning and a lot of us are already <coughs> anxious we already have our plans written down and while we even have our plans written down we're anxious as to how these things are going to be and you know we just have them written down and so before I learned what I learned from Celebrations Church International. Yeah, during their midweek service on Wednesday, 5th of January. Um, I I didn't know I had this, I, I had this question in my mind. What is a good year? Like, what can I say a good year is? And honestly, if you asked me or if anyone asked me what is your definition of a good year i will start by saying that a good year for me is the year where i am financially made like i don't have to worry about my finances is the year where um maybe it's your boss down to finance basically because i really like i really like to earn my greatest fear is actually being broke i don't know if that's for any of you I'm sorry, I don't know why, but yes, to be broke and to have to beg, you know, have to to borrow money. Yeah, so that's my greatest fear, if you ask me. But then, yeah, it's just like being, making money, is the year where I do this, I have a new car, I, I would have told you all that. Yeah, but I realized that it's too small, like, it's very small. I think that sometimes we really think that we have grandiose plans. For the new year and you know and i think that's why we're always so anxious because we have these grandiose plans of buying several houses of making millions you know this new year which amazing plans but as i said they're too small compared to what i just heard now i realize that most of us never include this in our new year you know resolution plan we don't Included because it's not for us. It's not really that significant and Besides there are people that are already meant to be doing these things, you know, and I mean I'm sure some of you are already guessing what I'm saying, but yeah, so I'm going to read like a, a Scripture for you And it says in 2nd Corinthians 5 verse 16 He died for all so that all who live having received eternal life from him might no longer live for themselves for to please themselves but to spend their lives pleasing christ who died and rose again for them so what does this scripture say it's basically just telling us to be sold out to live for him so a good year is the year that is god-centered that's the definition I learned and that is so accurate is the year that is God centered is the year that the gospel prevails through us so the gospel we should make up our mind that the gospel is going to prevail through us this year that should even be our greatest if there's any new year resolution we have this year I feel like that should be on the top list or even it can even stand on its own honestly I'm just saying but yeah so it should be the year the gospel prevails through us you know sometimes you just think that ah please like 
is it not why you know we have the pastors you know that's why we have some people who are called to ministry see all of us must we might not all be we might not all be on on the altar at the altar whatever we might not all be called pastors but we are all called to you know proclaim the gospel to ensure that the gospel you know prevails through us you know when the bible said in in i'm sorry when the bible says in mark 16 15 that we should go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature he did not you know narrow it down to pastors and all in it was an open you know commandment to all christians all his followers that we should you know proclaim the gospel and that should be your new year resolution to ensure that the gospel prevails through you yes yes it's not meant for anybody so you know and then i want to also say that you know sometimes we say when i say this now you're gonna like, yeah that's why you know you should live a pious life you should be good you know your character should show christ i feel like that's a very lazy way to share the gospel it's like we don't want to talk about god but we want to think that our being good would you know share the gospel you know people will see our lives and we'll see christ yes it's a good way but more than ever the world needs us to begin to speak about jesus to begin to proclaim the good news about jesus and not our character alone so our character alone will not cut it out this year this year is a year to use our platforms and propagate the gospel because guys are you guys not tired of going you know on social media and seeing the way people are living the way you know this so many things are being pushed at us I don't know about you but i'm tired like i open the internet and you see this person doing this and you know it's just like and the gospel is we are still trying to show people you know share the gospel through our character i mean people can see our character through the pictures we post on social media people you know there are other people that are good just like us people are people are good people are kind but um we like it's no more about kindness and being good and you know telling the truth and all that they're all good but this is the year where we have to throw the gospel at them yes i mean throw it at them you know this is the year we have to share the gospel i can't emphasize it enough i think i've been saying this over and over again but i think that we need to do this you know we need to go and share the gospel this year and you know some of us will be like yeah we understand but we need all this we need to have all these plans and all but i think that we also don't realize how small it is you know to god like these things are nothing to god i mean when you focus on god's business and mind you when i'm saying focus on god's business it's not because you know you're half expecting or you're already expecting the things he's going to do for you amazing but i think this year well we should just give ourselves wholly to god we should actually just seek him for him and yeah but if you're in doubt if you think that hey, after doing all what's the benefit what is the plan let me now show you in second corinthians 9 verse 8 it says that god is able to make all grace every favor and earthly blessing come to you in abundance so that you may always and under under all circumstances and whatever they need be self-sufficient possessing enough to require no aid or support and furnished in abundance for every good work and charitable donation. So guys, God is able to make all these your financial goals come to play. Yeah. It's very easy for God. After he's the one that said we should seek him first, you know, the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things will be added unto us. In Matthew 6, 33. So if you need any motivation, maybe, because at least you have to start with a motivation to share the gospel. Now, these are the motivation that the money here, is tied can also be is tied to you know you sharing the gospel minding god's business and god is minding your own your own business the business that you think you, you know is your own business and come to think of it guys have you ever sat down to think about all the 
um, the things that have happened in your life and you know sit down and really think well if most of them if if you had you if your plans the plans that you've you know you've written down really played out a lot like in making you hit the kind of financial goals you've hit before i don't know about you but for me for every job i have gotten for every financial growth i have had as in i can't really remember I'm doing so much to um, achieve the kind of financial goals I have achieved, you know. So, some of my New Year resolutions I'm just sharing with you, you know, because last year I was very stingy with my money when it comes to the to you know my tithes and offering. I wanted to save every dime. I did not want, especially after my job, you know, um, I lost my job. I wanted to make sure that it never happens again where I am in a tight position where they say, oh, we're not going to be renewing your contract. I'm not going to have enough money. No. I said to myself, no, I'm going to save every money. So I can listen in church, but I'm never going to give my offering. I mean, because I just felt like God understands that I need to save this money. I'm in a foreign land. So I need to save this money in case they say, guy, I'm not... I'm not renewing your contract to start going. I will have enough money. But after listening to, you know, um, Pastor Mayoba, Celebration Church International, you know, and on Wednesday, I realized that um, I have, like, I have not, you know, consecrated myself to God. I have not really realized that everything I have comes from God. The Bible says that every good and perfect gift comes from God. So everything I have, the job I have right now, is from God. He was the one that made them, you know, call me back. If you have watched my I Lost My Job video, you know what I'm talking about. So yeah, so this year, let's go into the world and share the gospel. Use your social media. Nobody's going to fight you. You know, nobody, and even if they fight you, it doesn't matter. Just share the gospel as much as you can this year. And trust me. I feel like it's much more fulfilling, you know, to be about God's business and just watch God take care of the remaining parts of your year and all your fears. Trust me. Yeah. So please don't forget to like, share and comment. I hope it blessed you. And see you next in my next video. Bye.